Hello and welcome back to Chateau de Sauger. Uh, in order to complement the fountain and the water movement that we've got on our lake, we're also looking at an air aeration system. Uh, they are, however, very expensive, ranging from 700 to about 1500 euros, given the size of the lake that we have. Uh, so, as an alternative, <clears throat> we have picked up this microporous hose that we're hoping to use at the end of some airlines which will be sunk uh, in the pond. Uh, and this is what we picked up today, a microporous hose. It's obviously for irrigation above and below ground, uh, but in order to try and prove uh, the idea, uh, what I've done initially filled it with water, just so you can see the result. And then now I'm gonna just put some air through it through uh, our compressor. This will obviously be different in the final version. But you can see that we've got a whole series of very small air bubbles forming, effectively pushing out the water. So what we'll do, we'll create probably two circular diffusers that we'll connect to some standard irrigation pipe, which is outside. Uh, and then we'll try it with either this larger compressor or a small compressor for inflating tires. And then we'll look at a permanent solution uh, in terms of uh, the final install. But you'll see, I think that's quite effective. Now, obviously, this isn't a weighted uh, airline tube. So we need to come up with a solution just to keep this on the bottom of the lake. Uh, so that's what we'll have a look at next. Uh, and then we'll see how we construct it from there. So we're going to create a weighted base that we can then apply the uh, microporous tube to. So I've got an old uh, ring of an old barrel and I'm just creating some holes here. So I can have a slight overlap and then the incoming pipe will come in this way. And then round here and we'll have probably two, three coils going round. So we've got one hole. I need this slightly longer so it picks up just the connection point. This one can just overlap and some cross members here. Hi there, so we've finished just installing the first bar. Uh, it is quite a light uh, metal, so uh, I did blow through it on one or two occasions, which I've just re-welded. So it's tacked in place, it's fine. We just got a couple of cross members. What I've done, hopefully you can see, is just to uh, shape the end uh, of this bar, just with the uh, flapper uh, abrasive wheel, just so it sits neatly within here. And then we've got more surface area. So we'll do that, we'll make this connection here and then we'll do it opposite. So we'll have a grid. So here we have the cross members now installed into the ring frame. We've got the point of connection for the tube and then we'll have a couple of circles going round culminating in the final ring. Uh, we just need to give that a quick lick of paint and then we can move on. So here we have the finished frame. We've given it a quick coat of some black hammery to give it some protection. Uh, we'll let that dry and then we'll have a look at adding the micro uh, bubble tube. Okay, so we've now installed the microporous pipe around the frame that we previously made. We've got three ever decreasing circles coming back to the connection point, at which point we'll attach a non-porous pipe. Uh, we've got a small area down beside the lake that's uh, called the source. It's the source of the water that fills the lake, but that's in a small uh, stone basin that we can access and we can test this more manageably than uh, if we were to put it in the centre of the lake. So we're going to do that and uh, see if we're successful. So we've got the air diffuser in the pond. It's only about 12 inches deep. Uh, we've got it connected to this compressor, which will obviously change. So let's just turn on the air and see how it works. So 
we've done the test uh, and I think realized that we could indeed add more uh, hoops which we have now done so we think just under 10 meters uh, of uh, micro bubble tube now installed in here so we'll take that back down we'll give it another try and hopefully that will be the final solution uh, we will have two of these eventually one uh, in either element of the pool uh, and then obviously we'll connect that to our permanent compressor uh, when that arrives so here we are back with a uh, 2.0 we'll just turn on the air and see what kind of uh, performance we have Okay, so I think the next challenge is, uh, again, we have irrigation grade uh, PVC pipe. We obviously need to come up with a solution for weighting that and keeping that on the bottom of the lake. So we'll call this diffuser done. We've probably got one more to do. And then we can have a look at the piping uh, non-porous option uh, plus weights to try and keep that in place. <laughs> 